Hi there. <coughs> Hi there, Chris D. What's up? I have to be dynamic sometime. I'm not the dynamic one. Let's start soon. Just closing all the friggin' social media where I posted it. Oh, Canada. Oh, I got to, got to look at the national anthem, right? So let's see is that how is that? Okay, we have oh yeah, we have bilingual version. Wow. I think I'm going to stick to the English one. I can, I could also go French. I'm not not too bad at French. So, oh Canada, our home and native land, true patriot love in all of us command. I have no no clue about the melody, so Please forgive me. <laughs> With glowing hearts we see thee rise, the true north strong and free from far and wide. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. God keep our land glorious and free. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. O Canada, we stand on guard for thee. And we have the French lyrics. O Canada, Terre de nos aïeux, ton front est sain de fleurons glorieux. Car ton bras s'est porté l'épée, il s'est porté la croix, ton histoire est une épopée. Des plus brillants exploits et ta valeur de foi trompée protégera nos foyers et nos droits, protégera nos foyers et nos droits. So, done with the singing, <laughs> let's start. <laughs> Still people there? Okay, let's go. So, you see, I have everything on huge. I have uh, brought the disaster intensity up to four. I'm playing on Prince because I'm really not experienced in Civ and Six. And I think Prince is where uh, the AI either gets no bonuses or only very meager bonuses. We're playing an epic huge map because I really like many leaders, huge maps and things. A lot of city-states because I love city-states and yeah, as I said, normal disaster intensity is 2, I've put it to 4, so we'll have some fun, I guess. <laughs> maybe some volcanoes, maybe some uh, early industrial age climate change, we'll see, we'll see. Uh, let's start the game. Here we go. Welcome, welcome. <coughs> also, I'm sorry a bit about my... With Wilfred Laurier. Sunny ways, Wilfred Laurier, and made cheerfulness and courtesy the character of the Canadian people. Where others look to divide and sow mistrust, you inspire cooperation and understanding. Show the world that a unified people can forever stand the test of time. So we have features and abilities. The last best west allows farms to be built on tundra terrain. So hopefully we'll get to tundra. So um, somewhere we'll get a tundra area to to be able to use this. After civil engineering is unlocked, farms can be built on tundra hills even. Reduces the cost of purchasing snow, snow hills, tundra hills and tundra tiles by 50%. Plus 100% extraction rate of accumulated resources on snow, snow hills, tundra hills, and tundra tiles. We're just cool. It's cool Canada. Four faces of peace. Cannot declare war on city-states or surprise wars. So we gotta be diplomatic. Surprise wars cannot be declared on Canada. That's 
like we're immune to that. For every 100 tourism per turn, each one diplomatic favor per turn. Okay, receive plus 100% diplomatic favor from successfully completing an emergency or scored competition. Yeah, that's that's the great ice hockey. We have the great ice hockey rink. That will also help a lot in the later thing and the mounty. I think it's it's uh, replacement for the cavalry. Uh, I don't think we need the guide. Do we need the guide? I I believe it could be interesting. So let's let's do that. The World Congress is where you make your voice heard amongst the other civilizations in the world. It's also an important port, uh, part of the new diplomatic victory. Proposals are sent for the World Congress to vote for vote and come into types, resolutions and discussions. Um, so you can discuss like world games or religious emergency. Resolutions affect all civilizations, banning luxury resources. If you remember, uh, I think it was in C4, that was the gameplay there too. Then we have diplomatic favor, a new form of currency. Your diplomatic actions will earn diplomatic favor that can be used in the World Congress to help you or hinder others. It's going to be interesting. We can gather diplomatic victory points to pursue the new diplomatic victory. It's going to be interesting. The previous warmongering system has been replaced with a new representation of how other players view your warlike actions. Grievances. That's going to be very interesting. Is there an emotional system to that? An emotional AI? I mean, AI is not that good. We should have deep mind integrated, right, in, in Civ 6. I just saw a video of deep mind, um, like a, a, a little bit of tuned down deep mind who has had like 200 years of uh, StarCraft 2 learning, um, facing off a pro player that was quite interesting but okay if my i mean put this into perspective the deep mind also learned from human players so it's not like if i if a human being would live 200 years and <laughs> that amount of time to practice i believe something could be could be done in Civ 6 Gathering Storm, the environment around you is more alive than ever before. Natural disasters like floods, I think that's a flood, storms and volcanoes can pillage or destroy your improvements and districts, but they might refresh and enrich the lands after they pass. That's going to be, I mean, if you play Egypt, that's going to be very cool. Then the volcanoes, I mean, remember, we have Disaster 4, so... We're gonna we're gonna have these things. Volcanoes are high risk but high reward settlement locations. <laughs> high risk now with with a four disaster. <laughs> Volcanic eruptions can pillage or destroy improvements, districts, buildings, kill or damage units. But volcanic soil is highly valuable and very fertile. Geothermal fissures are new features that provide benefits to nearby buildings or districts, like additional amenities or tourism. Strategic resources have been divided into two types: fuel and material. Fuel resources. I used to meet the power needs of your cities, whereas material resources are required to produce resource-dependent units. That's interesting. Let's see if, if we need firewood. I don't know. The choices about the resource usage will directly affect the world's temperature. That's, I think, very, very cool and can cause rising sea levels. Yeah, that is also a, something they picked up from the previous civilizations. I don't know if it was... I think, that, I think it wasn't in Civ 5 or even in Civ 4, but it was certainly in... Civ 2 or 3. Some coastal tiles will be at risk of becoming flooded or completely submerged. When settling cities, consider the risk of these coastal lowland tiles. But keep in mind that, the, that in the atomic era, flood barriers can be used to protect these tiles. So you can build dams. Plenty more to explore. Giant death robot? That's going to be cool. Will your civilization weather the gathering storm? How will you rule in Sid Meier's Civ 6? That's what we're going to find out. Hey, look, we have a very, very nice place to start. <sighs> there we go. Yeah, that's the tundra tiles, and we can build farms on that. That's that's the good thing about Canada. We're also next to a mountain. That's good for probably later on science. So that's good. We're in between... Uh, rivers, that's also cool. But then the not so cool things is our, I mean, I don't know why there's cotton here near the tundra. That makes no sense to me, but um, 
I love the new names. Look, we have the Atabasca or something. I mean, that is all, all pretty good, but we have no special resources here that we can see. Let's hope that there are some that we cannot see and let's just hope for the best and found the city here, I think. I mean, we could move over there to that hill, but then we don't have the mountain. And I'd really like to keep the, that here and the mountain. Um, that's what I always forget about the... Yeah, I want to... Yeah, here it is. We need... That... Let's see. Map pins. Yeah, map pins are also there. That's cool. So let's found the city and find out. Canadian Empire makes history. The citizens of Ottawa adjust to their new home and keep a wary eye on the nearby river. <coughs> there could be floods. Oh my goodness. Yeah, that's what I forgot in my enthusiasm about the rivers. We're surrounded by two rivers. Yeah. That's going to be interesting. Oh. Let's see what we can what we can research. Mm. We have mining would be good for that hill here. But there's not much more. I mean, there's that hill. That's far away, I don't know. But we will probably very much need it. Then we have pottery. Mm. We have the great bath. The f flood plains, yeah. Well, we don't have these special resources, but the granary would be pretty good. Mm. Animal husbandry would unveil the horses that we could have there. I mean, it's definitely a thing. The advisor recommends mining, which we cannot do. Or pottery, which would lead to the granary. Mm. <coughs> I mean, I see the granary, but I think we'll go animal husbandry. I think that's better for some reason. Because if we have horses here, then that will be really good. So let's explore more with a warrior. I think we should maybe... I mean, the thing is about the tundra is that this is an area that can be saved for later because the AI will only settle there later. So we'll explore into the direction of the green fertile lands and settle there first if we can. So let's move the warrior over here to explore. The Sippy, that could be the Mississippi, right? The Athabasca River. City near floodable river. Your people celebrate a historic moment. Aha, just to their no new home. Yeah, keep a wary eye. Tribal village. Where's that? Where's the tribal village? Oh, here, yeah. I forgot. So then, um, let's see what we produce. Monument? Ah, uh, no. I mean, at the start we want to... <coughs> <coughs> either build a few things or we want to explore or we want to protect could already build the slinger be something defensive I think one scout is in order Let's see I mean the cotton will be really cool can we go over here no ah oh, look at that diamonds Wow, that's going to be a very good river up there. Let's see what we find here. What did we receive? Oh, we met Kabul. Nice. Construct a government plaza. They want Kabul city-state. Mm. Aha, villagers bring gifts as they join us, our civilization. Nice. But we don't have one more people. Nah, that's too bad. Nice.
yeah, we get a bonus to production in the capital when producing units, and that will help us just now, so it's pretty cool. Uh, why can't we continue now? Yeah, okay. <laughs> So, let's see about the warrior. Wow, there's gypsum. There's a lot here. Let's explore this fertile area around here. Wow, we should have moved up. Look at that, and there's desert too. Barbarians approaching. They've been here, I guess. Hmm, the unit needs orders. Yes, it needs orders. Where shall we go now? Um, over here. I want to go to that hill and see the mountains and, and maybe there is... There's the sea. Oh no, but there's a lot of barbarians. Look at them. A warrior of Akkad and Spearman. Nice. So we sent another invoice, so our unit production is pretty great, which is very, very helpful. I mean, I think we should go and look for another settlement space, and that could be, I mean, that could be a good space to settle. That hill here, I mean, okay, it's, it's in the desert. Look, there's something moving or yet we should explore more like this way there's rice here best spot would be where these barbarians are right right now we should maybe we should maybe help them or catch that later on and then stay here and and found the city there if that's possible Major victory, but no win. Ah, uh, I don't know. They are fortified, I think. Let's see. They're looking so fortified. Ah, uh, we have to try it. We have to try it now, because they might heal next turn. We've got a scout. Let's let's go with that scout. And there's the sea. There's whales here. Pretty nice. Some fish. Very cool. Um, next things next. What should we build here? I mean, we could build farms here already. And we should, I think. Could do that with a builder. Mm. Yeah, let's go for a builder right now. Just looking at the chat, what you whatever you say to me. Yeah, they're killing them. It's okay, though. Let's uh, heal up a bit and then continue the exploration. That's going to be a nice coast over there. So let's see. I mean, we could make a pin here. That could be a good place around here to... I mean, that is, I think, the ideal place. Like Diamond City or something like that. <coughs> <coughs> mm. 
Oh, look at that. That's... Wow. We're surrounded by great areas and Ottawa itself is terrible. We have a village here. Let's see if we can get that at least. Is there... Um, there's a barbarian scout? They're also roaming out with, over here now? My goodness. Let's go over here. Let's get this done. A barbarian scout. Weird. Mm, there's more warriors from Akkad. And here. Let's go. Uh, not yet. There's the Tarim River. Athabasca River. Mm, that could be good, but I think maybe here. That would be a, a cool place. Marsh? Yeah, I mean... That's kind of good, but that like spans into the Ottawa area, while that not so much. Maybe city. <coughs> and let's see what we'll find here. That's another barbarian scout. Eureka! Oh, the villagers share a hidden technical secret. Astrology. Nice. That's going to help us if we go for ships. There we go. Now, now. Oh, that's a... Oh, wow. I mean, this is... Everything is... Every, it's it's, it's uh, basically paradise, except Ottawa. <laughs> Ottawa is in a terrible spot. We can just move... Ah, yeah, we can just move away from that. Let's see. Oh, but we cannot. Okay. For some reason. Wow, that guy has muscles. He's really Gilgamesh. Um, I'm good to my friends. Yeah, well, it's an honor to meet you. None may pass the walls of Uruk without my permission, but I will tell you of it if you tell me of your capital. And of course, I mean, we are friendly Canadians. I mean, the one time I was in, for a longer time in Canada, I remember like walking down a street, like, a, no, rather like a small, yeah, a small street. And some people had a barbecue and they just called me, hey, we saw you. I mean, I was visiting my grand aunt over there. And they were like calling, hey, you aren't you aren't you the German over there from from uh, you have to come over and eat a steak and tell us about Germany. And then I joined with totally people I never saw before. Like no one I, I had ever seen there. And I said, we had a great evening. <laughs> so, yeah, exchanging information on our capitals is a great idea. We could party, barbecue, and everything like that. It should help promote trade. And coming from Germany, where all people are rather reserved, it was it was a culture shock. Like, <laughs> you, aren't, you aren't really accustomed to people being so friendly. <laughs> it's crazy, really. <laughs> If there are no dogs in heaven, then I, then when I die, I want to go where they went. Animal husbandry, and hopefully we have will have found something after meeting. Oh, new ways to communicate writing. Nice. So <coughs> let's see. We could find a natural wonder. Have we done that? We should go maybe for pot pottery and mining now. But let's see. Do we have horses here? Ah, yeah, here. Out of reach. Near Diamond City. 
the possible Bioman city. Um, hmm. I mean, I'd like to go for sailing. I think pottery will be will be good, and maybe mining. Maybe both are, are good. Chopping of woods, harvesting of copper, harvesting of wet and rice. Uh, 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 uh. Let's go for mining for now. Can't we move here? Yeah, we can move. I rather want an active move. Look at them. They are really muscular. Wow. Like Gilgameshes. And he kind of likes us. Can we do something with him? Could we declare a friendship? Is he is he friendly? Friendly, no grievances. Yeah, is ah, we do accept our friendship. Yeah, the sworn friend, nice. Um, that can be it for now. Already getting the diplomatic points right here. Diplomatic favor, a currency for buying votes. Hmm. That smile. That smile. Yeah, I'm not that advanced yet. <laughs> to all of you that dip in. Uh, we're just moving around, exploring the map at the moment. And uh, let's see. We've got a worker now. So... Let's go and improve maybe the tundra tiles because it's so cool, right? Mm. Yeah, let's go that way and then get that farm. Twaching. Oh, that accent. It's an honor to meet you. You have a city nearby. Would you like to visit? Our sculptors are getting quite good at working in terracotta. Oh, yeah, we would love to sample your hospitality, my friend. Xian. Is he friendly? Um, neutral. Okay, okay. The Wall of 10,000 Yi. Like civilizations not competing for wonders and build wonders whenever possible. There is the ally, ally of Enkidu. <coughs> like civilizations who are willing to form long term alliance. Oh yes. Um That's that's what we're gonna gonna make with him, I think. Long term alliance, that's gonna be good. Mm, yeah, let's let's visit. What will we want to build? A settler, of course. And a short pause, oh my god. <laughs>
Ah, uh, so I'm back. Yeah, uh, my little son had, I don't know, a bad dream, and I had to stay with him for a while. And then <laughs> he went to my wife anyways, so <laughs> there we go. There we go again. Yeah, my wife's sleeping already. She needs much more sleep than me. <laughs> Maybe I just ignore my my sleeping times. Mm hmm. Whoa, back into this. Next turn. Wow, that's good. The legation of Gilgamesh brings you gifts of Sumerian jewelry and liars from Ur. Will you accept them into your city? Of course. Most welcome, my friend. Declared friend. Hmm. Oh, that's cool. Waves rolling in. And horses. And horses. No farm. There's Xian. Oh, what have we met here? Ah, barbarians again, okay. Mm. This or this field? I'm not sure. How does the flood look? <laughs> Some stones here. Mm. This is adjacent to two rivers. This is adjacent to one river. Let's try that one. Mm. Yeah, I'm using a Ricola again because of my cuffing. F I don't know why. I have that still. The kids are get totally getting new things every day. Ah, a trade delegation from Quinn Shi Huang. Nice. Maybe we should try to get him to be friends. No? Mm, okay. Mm. Stalemate. Let's just move over. We could really go for that third move, but also... Hmm... That was terrible also with the farms now. <laughs> okay, we got an inspiration. With the land around our first city developing nicely, we can fine-tune our production techniques with craftsmanship. Mm, nice. Um, that's Quinn. Oh! Yeah, we should we should be well off to uh, we have, we should be good together, right? Robot, it's an honor to meet you. Yes, uh, let's exchange the information on our capitals. Maybe we can be friends. Maybe we can be friends. Hmm. So we have Uruk, we have Sterling. Hmm. Let's see how that looks here. Appeal is average. We're on the continent of Antarctica. <laughs> oh well there's there's some charming spots here as well, so that's cool. Maybe we should return. I think I think now we should return here. Because the settler will come. And then we need protection for it. It is not wisdom, but authority that makes a law. And actually hmm. The God King of Canada, urban planning. One production in all cities. That's a no brainer, right? 
or we could go faith and gold in the capital hmm mm, I think we're gonna go urban planning and then five unit combat strength and fighting barbarians double experience for reckon units yeah let's go fight barbarians and mm, what to go for next yeah craftsmanship is the no-brainer deal so mm, Ah, I don't know actually. Foreign trade. Give us a trader. And trade routes to boost discover a second continent. I think that's more important than that here. Yeah. I mean, it seems a little bit counterintuitive, but I think. I really love the look of these jungles, rainforests. Well, the question is, where should we build settlers first? I mean, that diamond city is really good, but this maybe city mm, would be good to counter a Xian and could maybe move over here. And there's a barbarian too. Mm. Yeah, let's move over to maybe city. I think that's the better choice. And then we have a barbarian here. A scout though. So I don't know if he will plunder. I mean, that will lead to conflict with Xian, but not with Uruk. Can we purchase? We can purchase a scout. That would be terrible. Next round we can purchase a slinger. That would be good. Uh, okay, he's going away. Then it's not that important. The lush fields here. The lush fields. Yeah, the joys of children always so giving. Yeah, they are giving, but they are also taking. And they are mostly taking sleep. <laughs> and a little bit of nerves, but... Yeah, you get... I mean, you develop techniques, yeah. I mean... It's hard to explain. You know, talk about having children. Having children changes you a lot. It's just, at the moment, I'm con I'm pretty convinced that having children at a youngish age, not too young, of course, is pretty good for you. So if you have a significant other <laughs> and you want to have children, it's good relatively early if you're, if you really think you're. You will stay with that one. <laughs> well, I don't want to have that scout here. It's not good. Go away, scout. We want to hunt you. The sea seemed to roll back upon its. Oh to be driven from its banks by the convulsive motion of the earth. It is certain at least the shore was considerably enlarged, and several sea animals were left upon it. On the other side, a black and dreadful cloud, broken with rapid zigzag flashes, revealed behind it variously shaped masses of flame. The Mount Vesuvius. Wow. 
And that is a world wonder, or is it just our volcano, our next? Let's explore that. I really like it. It's between Uruk and Sterling. That's going to be interesting. The maybe city. Yeah, I think we should use the Slinger maybe once that barbarian goes away. Who deserves more credit than the wife of a coal miner? Mm, let's go this way. And... Yeah, research, why not? Let's see. Kill a unit with a slinger. That's what we want to do, but may not be able to. Mm, astrology, a shrine, would be good, but maybe too early. Stonehenge, yeah, that's all a little bit too early. Archery is good. Mm, I think we're just going to go no-brainer pottery. Ah, uh, great job. Auto move. I shouldn't auto move. Next time, settler. We'll march that way. The settler. Let's see if we can do something about that barbarian. Take that! could move this way. Yeah, let's do that. I think it could be faster. Mount Vesuvius is really looking good. We want that new continent. Hmm. And we want also new production. What what shall we go for? Hard to say. Um, let's, let's maybe send a builder behind. Could follow up here. Let's try that. Full risk, eh? There we go. On to maybe city. Ah, let's see. Robert the Bruce also likes us. Let's try to declare friendship. Like this turn now. What a happy day. We'll stand together as one, like the two arms of the saltire. Oh yeah, what, what kind of agenda has he? Flower of Scotland will not attack neighbors unless they break, break a promise to him. Likes those who do not war with neighbors, dislikes those who do. Ah, the perfect friend too. Already the forming the triumvirate of probably Uruk. Ottawa. This, ooh, ooh. This barbarian spare man. Let's hope he doesn't attack us <laughs> prematurely. Really want that, that thing here. That would be a, such a cool spot for a city. Maybe we should move one, one in here. Do I have it near the mountain even? Hmm. Hard to say. Yeah, we also want Diamond City and we'll have Copper there, so that may be a good city. Wise to keep peace with your neighbors. Blood foods are paid great, at great expense. Yeah, you're, you're so you're so wise, Robert the Bruce. Great expense. Great expense. Goodbye. So we could march in here. Um, aha. So that would lead to them being angered. But we have two friends already. What could happen, right? 
You could move just here. That's maybe even a little bit better. I think I like this spot here. Let's found the city there. Let's seek for the second continent. St. John. What do we want to build here? Mm. I mean, with St. John, we want to build a monument first, I think. There's that barbarian. Wait, 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 wait. Let's hunt that one. Ah, oh, they've taken them out. Well, we want to we want to like keep a watch here, so let's position our guy over here and the slinger will move over here. We can delete that pin here now. St. John needs more housing to keep growing. Mm. Is that a monument really good? I don't know. Oh, only provides culture. Mm. Hmm. We'll see about that later. Like the end of this continent. It allows the development of patience. Yeah, and um, not only patience. Yeah, like you. <laughs> Except my people's fight tweet. <coughs> of course, haggis. Oh, and hark to the pipers. Are they not grand? Yes. Your delegation is most welcome and well heard. Excellent. You develop a certain kind of ruthlessness towards yourself without ruining you. Like, it's definitely very interesting how it changes you to have children. Barbarians! Hunt them! Pongao! Sippy! Oh, 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 now we could, we could... Ah, yeah, that's, that's great, come on. Move in. And shoot! Take that. And archery. <laughs> archery is a lot better. Heal that. Can we now look at this point? I hope so. Making great money too. Oh, look, another scout of the barbarians. Here we go. Basically farming the scouts away. I really want Diamond City. Diamond City is going to be a great city. We'll need a food caravan. Let's send that thing to St. John, shall we? Hmm. Uh... Hey, not you, not you, not you. You will go... Oh, you'll go here. And the builder can go over... Over to St. John. Wow, three food, two food. That's actually not bad. Hmm. I really need production, though. Let's, let's just move in here first and build that farm. Oh my goodness. Mm. 
the barbarians and now I'd like to have another settler I guess found diamond city yeah maybe we should have run away I'm not sure now we should definitely run away mm. come on warrior and you yeah go over here and you move to diamond city <laughs> run away Nice. Clay must feel happy. Ah. Harvesting of bananas. I'm not sure. I think writing would be cool. But not really needed. Astrology the same. Mm. The water mills are really good. But I think archery is the one. I should really go for. Let's move to Kabul. <laughs> See if they can help us. Charge! <laughs> We're not that all powerful, right? Here we go. Let's move in. And we want our workers to, to go over here. I hope they don't mind when we go through their area. Uh. Maybe they do. <laughs> mm -hmm. That stone here, that would be cool. Um, let's see about the technology. Yeah, we need masonry to build a quarry. So that's not best. Uh, yeah, cotton requires irrigation. Got some grasslands here. That's okay. Oh, look, there's that. Okay, okay. Moving over. Flee! There's Kabul again killing everything here. Barbarians fiercely attacking Kabul. Thankfully Kabul protects us. Mm, we can heal up. And... We'll have floodplains here. Yeah, why not try to... Ooh. <coughs> Let's hope there isn't anything coming from that way. We definitely need more units. Look at that. Need to move over and take that out. Also, let's move to Diamond City. We could try this, but... Need more 
housing. Hmm. We'll find something out. Um, food per turn. Hmm. Great bath. Two housing for one citizen. To gain housing, granary and great bath. Place improvements, farm. Ah, uh, yes. Let's try it out if that helps. Oh yeah, provides a little bit of housing. Then that's okay. fuel the growth and find out more about that new continent that we want to find. Ah, actually go there, that's better. And here we go. A minor victory we would have against the Spearman. We'll need the Slinger to help. In the future, though. Oh, oh, oh. Hey, Slinger. Attack these guys. Oh, we have a promotion. We've got the warrior. Let's fortify here to have that under control. And we have that grassland here. Nice, a system of lords and vassals is forming to manage all the farmlands of your empire. Feudalism is improved. Population is growing. We are fine, to sum that up. It is good that you do not try to compete with the glorious empire of Quinn. Your wonders are inimitable. Yeah, we're not going for wonders as Canada. We're going for some expansion and diplomacy. Diplomacy. Stay here and heal. And you will move through the jungles. The deep jungles of the Uruk countries and See what we've got. Mm. Really don't like you, Barbarian Scout. How's the climate? Let's see. Everything's in order. We have 28% river flooding, 7% droughts, and 10% chance of volcanic activity. Wow. I mean, if it's going for real-world consequences, volcanic activity could really screw us over, but you never know. You never know. Go hunt these people down. We've got the Slinger unit available for a promo. Hmm... Um, okay, I forgot how. Let's heal for now. Mm, they have completed the great bath in China. We're never going for that. Hmm. Need to follow these. Ah! <laughs> That's so terrible. Ah, let's let's have a look at at Saint John. We want to produce. We want to buy something. I want a slinger here. 
because it's really we need so much more ah destroying everything it fell to earth i knew not where oh, we've got another settler we want to go with that to the diamond city it's going to be good and we'll have Our warriors ready here to defend. Nice. Now we've got a slinger. To the farm and go. And we need new research and don't think about it too much. Let's go for writing. A new production and we'll need granary might be nice an archer would be really good yeah or another builder let's go archer first so many barbarians coming in it's crazy i mean look at that we need archers It is as it is. Mm -hmm. There's more barbarians coming. Nah. Grass that uninviting grassland. Let's attack! Can always move back in. There's that one. Yeah, I mean, we should have time. Attack! Really, hunting barbarians is. Oh, look! Foreign trade. The positive aspect of trade, I suppose the world gets stirred up together. Let's change policies, maybe. Let's see. Two gold from all trade routes and uh, ancient and classical area naval units. Nah, we'll not go for that. But that could become interesting after we have uh, trade routes. Trade routes could be something we'll, we'll go for in the future. Let's see. Early Empire. This, this is a found a pantheon. We are not. We are not going to do that. Probably. We are also don't have production at all. Great profit points. Inspiration policy. I mean that adds chances just to do something, anything, and so we're going for that. Let's go. Ottawa. Wow, look at that. <laughs> what do they do here? Ow. <laughs> Move back. And heal and you just attack. Nice. We did it. And you move back to Diamond City Place. So they don't block it. And you explore. There could be another continent here. But then we'll have to move this way. Through the great fields of Eden. Sumeria is worshipping the pantheon of the gods. Focused on the fertility rites, I believe. Oh, we want that too could be great to unify us get to close a friendship move to diamond city will you um 
Okay. All right. Maybe let's just go back here. Not a good spot, but breathtaking. Wow, they got a really nice village here. It's breathtaking. Next turn, next turn. Create escort formation. Yeah, that could be good, but we'll found the city here now. Montreal. Mm. <laughs> not, not really Montreal. Montreal. Um, maybe we should rename that. We could really name it Diamond City because there's tons of diamonds around here. Mm. And gypsum. Diamond City. Start with the granary and you move around here. Hmm. Let's move one tile. We don't want that plundered. Let's go. Scotland has the divine spark. Hmm. Rather the fertility rights. That's more fun. <laughs> the divine spark. Hmm. Let's heal up a bit. Pretty wounded. Oh, your fights with barbarians highlight the need for stronger weaponry. Bronze working. Getting a bonus. City needs food to grow. Yeah. No worries. No worries. We're building the granary already. Later the water mill would be nice. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, we're relentless. It's our only way to to deal with them. Is your ideas on governing your own people? Nice. Getting philosophy. We could send an envoy to Babylon. Mm. I'm not sure. We need inference for that. Okay. Saint John. Maybe wait here always be ready I know that we have cranked it up to four and we have no natural disasters that's a disaster so again here we'll need to go that way that the whole way around here to get to a new area mm, and so we should I think we should look over here that was a mis mistake move. Same goes for this. Maybe we can attack here and make that barbarian camp our own. With our brave slingers. Um, okay, maybe Akkad is doing that. But it's okay. So we got that guy, let's move on to a trader would probably be nice for just about everything. Mm. 
Yeah, let's go for the trader. Our archer can go this way. Hmm. They're getting it anyways next round, so let's go. So we can get the easy kill now. <laughs> Hmm, let's move over here. You never know. Friendship with Spike. Whoa, what? What, what, what? Friendship with Gilgamesh. Cyrus of Persia wants to become fast friends. Fast friends with benefits, or what? Uh, would you like to visit our nearby city and sample our hospitality? A reasonable offer. Uh, Rob the Bruce. We have that and Gilgamesh let's declare friendship again. Yeah, let's remember that. It could be critical. Kaboom. Here we go. Oh, 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 the Storm Peter's out. This Category 4 hurricane named Gemekala, now weaker, has made its final move across the map. It's around here. Okay, thankfully it's far away. I mean, it's not thankfully. Really, I wanted to see it, but okay. There's a hurricane. That's cool. And there is a barbarian. Let's wait that out. It's Babylon. Cyrus too. Ah. Is easy. All you have to do is cross out the wrong words. Yeah, really, that's very wise, Mark Twain. That's very wise. You start with a lot of words and then you cross out words. Really clear friendship. They are opportunists. Likes leaders who have declared a surprise war. Dismisses leaders who do not use surprise war declarations. Um, I don't know, but he's friendly with Robert the Bruce, so maybe... Let's be more friendly. Astrology. Bronx working. That could be good. We could get the spare man. We could see the iron resource. Let's go for that. We could see iron. Mm, let's be alerted and wait here. You're just attacking them. Major victory. They want to stop us from moving over here. I can see it already. Hmm. The traders will be really good. So I want trades probably to Kabul and Akkad. For that, we'll need military units to protect the trade routes. Move down here with a warrior to see if there's anything that is really good for us. And now, ah, 50 gold. Canadian Empire makes history. The danger on the doorstep of St. John has been defeated. The barbarians are driven away. We get era score. And your progress toward military tradition has advanced considerably. The start of a long line of successes. And of course we have that. Let's see. My goodness. Will we ever arrive over here? Look, there's Mount Pactu. Another volcano.
Send a trade emissary to your kingdom with gifts of mirrored glass and pottery from your finest craftsmen. I'm sure you will treat my envoy with the same respect you've shown me. Yes, most welcome you are. Excellent. Really excellent. Oh. An enormous and oh. column of flame allowed the people in Holt to read as perfectly at night as if it had been dead. We have the can you <laughs> can you pronounce it? The AF Yalak Yakul A great volcano from I think Iceland, was it? Nice. It's impassable. It appears as a volcano and provides one culture and one food. On eruption it gives medium yields and is most likely to damage buildings and districts. Infrequently erupts, but is always active. We can make it build a fun city over there. What else? I mean, it continues over there that there's really not bad things coming. Now, can we can we go over? That would be very interesting. Let's continue. We need so many units, it's crazy. Would it be good to, to have a settlement there? I'm not convinced. Tundra tiles are still terrible, even as Canadians. Not that terrible, but still not good. Ah, oh, let's see how you're doing. Everything is fine. Yeah, I, I had expected to maybe start a little bit earlier today, but it just didn't work out. Hmm. So maybe we can continue this on another day. But I'm not stopping right now, but just maybe in half an hour or so, because that's really... You can see my local time here. <laughs> I haven't noticed that. Is that new? It's 1 a.m. Central European Standard Time. So the right time to stand up. Look, yeah, it's continuing here into the ice. A trade route destination. We could go Diamond City. That would be nice. Or Kabul or Akkad. But... Mm, I think Diamond City is maybe easiest first. I mean, three gold is good, but production, food. Diamond City really needs food, so we'll give them that. Let's be, or maybe.